here's the setup I used in that little demo. First of all, I've got a jazz upright bass, and I've turned off all of the strings except for the fifth string. Then we come to the drum machine up here, the jazz kit, drum kit, and I've turned off all the strings except for the sixth string. And the sixth string is the one that GTEC by default maps onto the, the 12 different patterns that the drum computer can play. Although you could easily change that by changing the transpose settings of one of the other strings to move those patterns around. Then if we look down here, you'll see the tab for the drum computer. Switch to the drum computer. And up here are the 12 different patterns. I'm only using two of them in this example. And I've used the, the ones that come with this preset. And I've just edited them a bit to make them a slightly less busy. You can see down here there's 12 different tracks. Each track is a different sound. The sound is that note there showing you which note this triggers and so which drum sound it triggers. And you can just edit along here to change the patterns. And finally there's the alto saxophone up at the top where I've left the top four strings playing this. I've turned off the, the bottom two strings there. And the only other change I've made is on the instrument panel. By default it's got solo switched on, the alto saxophone. I've switched it off so I can play chords. So what we end up with is a setup where the top four strings play the alto saxophone. The bottom string, the low E, triggers this drum machine for the jazz kit. And finally the fifth string plays the bass. That's it.